Are you trying to decide between a single cut and double cut guitar body? Let's break down the differences to help you make the best choice for your playing style and preferences. Single cut guitars are known for their classic look and resonance. They typically have a thicker body, which can add sustain and warmth to your tone. On the other hand, double cut guitars have a more modern and sleek design with easier access to the higher frets. If you prefer a heavier, warmer tone and don't mind sacrificing some upper fret access, a single cut guitar might be your best option. However, if you value playability and versatility, a double cut guitar could be the way to go. Ultimately, the decision between single cut and double cut guitar bodies comes down to personal preference. Try out both styles if you can to see which one feels more comfortable and sounds better to you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for more guitar tips and reviews. For today's demonstration, I'll be using a couple Paul Reed Smith guitars that I absolutely love. The single cut guitar, Les Paul style, is a PRS SC58 artist package. I've been playing this guitar for the last 12 years or so and recorded extensively with it. It's all over Bold Horizon. This is the best sounding guitar that I've ever owned, hands down. This speaks to the advantages of having a heavy chunk of wood. This thing is 8.4 pounds. His name is Ghost, named after Jon Snow's Direwolf. For the double cut version of a Les Paul style guitar, I recently acquired this PRS S2 McCarty 594 10th anniversary model. I love this guitar equally but differently. I'm really vibing with it for sure. I love the cherry burst color. Let's start with that. Drag on. Daenerys Targaryen's dragon is in running for the name, sticking with the Game of Thrones theme. This SC58 probably has better guitar tone. It's a heavier guitar, thicker wood. It's great for recording, but not so great for standing on stage for five hours. It has classic looks. Looks like a Les Paul from all of our guitar heroes, but it only has three sounds, the three standard Gibson sounds, and that's a disadvantage. It isn't quite as balanced as the double cutaway either. S2594 McCarty, double cutaway, has better access to the higher frets, that's for sure, and it's more balanced when you're holding it and playing it. It has push pulls, so when you play live, you can get more versatility for playing dance music and single coil sounds. And it's lighter, so when you're playing on stage for hours at a time, it's not quite as heavy, it's more comfortable. And it might be more balanced sitting down, that's kind of a matter of opinion. But the disadvantage is it doesn't look like the classic cool guitar we grew up with. It's not like Jimmy Page or Peter Frampton, Ace Freely, Randy Rhodes. Uh, pick your Les Paul yielding guitar hero. Let's go ahead and play a little bit and see what these sound like. So both guitars are American-made Paul Reed Smith guitars. This is from the S2 line, and that's from the Core series. So that one does cost a little bit more. However, they're both American made, and that's the most important thing. They both have American pickups. These are 5715s. Those are 5808. And they're both uh, hand wound Paul Reed Smith pickups, and they're both fabulous sounding. We're playing out of the Fractal Audio Axe FX 3. Right now, for this clean sound, I'm using a Car Rambler amp model. Put a little bit of tap tempo on there. So I'm using the neck pickup on this guitar right now. Let's see what this sounds like. Sounds nice and clear, I think. Now let's try the clean neck humbucker. Now let's use both humbuckers together and see what that sounds like. And now both humbuckers together. For the bridge pickup, let's go ahead and use my early Van Halen Marshall Plexi sound. Let's 
see how it cleans up. If you're getting value from today's comparison, please hit that subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for the next time I post a video. It definitely comes down to whatever you value the most for your guitar purchase. You can't go wrong either way. A lot of it is what looks cooler to you, but there are specific differences when it comes to balance, weight, and tone. Everything is a trade-off. If you're looking for something that's absolutely lights out and you're going to be playing in the studio doing Les Paul type stuff, maybe that's the way to go. But if you're going to be on stage for long periods of time and you're looking for versatility, you might want to think about the more modern version. So one of the advantages of this guitar is I can split the coils. Let's go ahead and put on a single coil in the bridge position with a Fender Vibrolux amp model. This time let's go ahead and split the coils in the neck position and see what that sounds like. Let's try those same two dance numbers with the humbuckers in this guitar. your thoughts in the comment section as to which direction you might want to go. Please feel free to ask questions. I'll do my best to go into detail with my experiences. Thanks for watching today's video. Hopefully you have a better understanding of which style guitar might work best for you. I would suggest heading on down to the local music store and getting a couple of these guitars in your hands and see what works for you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Happy picking.